Hello kids! For today's video, as you can see, we are going to have our story time! For today's stories, it is all about the sea creatures. Do you know who are they? Yeah, they are the turtles, fish, dolphins, and many more. For our story today, the title of that is Lemon Fish is Sour. It is written by Andrea Kasmarek and it is illustrated by Nicola and Boda. Alright, let's start! It is the same as every day in the sea garden. So you'll have to look at the pictures. So there are fish, the turtle, the one is swimming, and the other is resting as well as the starfish. So lemonfish swims around the rock where turtle is resting. Turtle is always resting, or so it seems. Jellyfish is bored and starfish is snoring. The baby lemonfish are swimming around playing shark chase. Oh, what kind of play is that? Hmm. They swim and swim until one of the bigger fish calls out, Shark! Then they all turn and chase back. It is a silly fishy game. Turtle nearly sits on starfish. He often does. But it is a good day. Until, who oh no. What is it? A shadow covers them. <gasps> Look at that. It's so dark. Lemonfish, turtle, jellyfish, the starfish, and the baby lemonfish. Swimming this way and that, playing shark chase. And they all look up. It has gone dark. Very dark. Hmm, not whale, not shark back. It's coming down towards us. Lemon fish flops. The dark shadows get nearer, too near. The baby fish all looked up. It's got lots of nice colors. They bubble. And so it has. It floats down and they see blue and green colors all mixed up. It looks pretty. Starfish stares. It's coming down. It looks like trouble. Lemonfish starts to worry. Things like shark and whales and stingrays slowly float down. You can see their angry teeth flashing. And you swim away with us like any sensible fish. But this thing is different. It slowly lands on top of them all. But look at the turtle. It get twisted. The thing twists around his flippers. I can't move. It has caught me up in a terrible tangle. Lemonfish shouts to the others, Flop your fins as hard as you can! Make waves! We can free a turtle if we all try hard! And they all do just that. Jellyfish is a good wave maker, and soon that plastic bag, for that is what it is. Wobbles and moves, and turtle manages to wriggle his flippers free! But that nasty plastic bag, doesn't stop there. It floats down further and covers all the baby fish. Flap your fins. Lemon fish shouts again. Flap and flop. And when it moves, swim away. Swim like you are playing shark chase. All the baby fish flap. Jellyfish makes waves. Turtle flops his flippers. And bit by bit, the plastic floats up and down. When it floats up, 
The baby fish swim out as fast as they can. Go, go, baby fish! Then that nasty plastic bag floats back over the rock. Oh no, look at the starfish! Now the starfish gets covered with that terribly floaty plastic bag. This time, Turtle is braver. He bites with his sharp teeth onto one end and pulls and pulls. Be careful, Turtle. Lemon fish calls. Don't get your flippers twisted up again, please. But Turtle pulls and pulls and pulls to free his friend Starfish. Angel Fish comes back and sees there is a such fuss. Has the shark been back? Worse, Lemon Fish tells her. This thing has floated down and it tangled Turtle and trapped the babies. And now Starfish is all covered over. Angel Fish sees Turtle pulling out and pulling. And that plastic bag try hard to free poor Starfish. I'll get Swordfish. Hmm, he's pretty sharp. And Angel Fish dashes that. Swordfish is the best help for a Turtle to free Starfish. That was close. Lemon fish flops and flops. Hmm, good idea. What we can do? It floats around and covers us and attracts us. Jellyfish is thinking hard. We just have to chop it up in small. That's all. Lemon fish decides, call the crabs. Okay, let's call the king crabs, hermit crabs, even lobsters. Lobsters don't like to be left out. But they all swim in to see what's going on. Swordfish takes over. Chop it up with your grubby printers. We have to get rid of it. It just doesn't belong here in our sea garden. It has to go. Swordfish tells them. And they are now. What are they doing? Chop, 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 chop. Pinch, pinch, pinch. And look at that plastic bags. It became small, right? They chop, pinch, nip, and rip until that terrible nasty plastic bag is chopped into tiny, tiny bits and floats away again. Don't come back ever again, nasty plastic bags! Not good, Mommy Lemon Fish is sour, very sour, and gutters up her baby fish. Mommy Lemon Fish looks off. Now we have to watch out for sharks, not only sharks, and that nasty floating trouble. Okay kids, let's go! For this moral of the story, you have to be responsible enough in throwing your waste. People are not the only creature living in this planet. Putting your waste properly will be very helpful to all of us. Okay, that's all kids. Hope you enjoy. Bye.